Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the premiere of my annual viewing of the Super Bowl halftime show. I just got off of work, and luckily we were slow enough so that I could digest the game and also all of the commercials and whatnot, and also so that I could slip off into the office and avoid watching the halftime show. And FYI, if you catch a glimpse of this... Apparently I still have my name tag on. I'm wearing a Dallas sweatshirt because it's the closest thing I have to NFL merchandise. And just so you're aware, I live in Missouri, so if you're from anywhere else, you can absolutely suck my balls. That was a fun game to watch. I don't care about football normally, but the Chiefs being good in recent years kind of gives me a, a hometown pride point a little bit. Anyways, this year, as we know, we have Usher, which I'm expecting to be pretty lukewarm. <laughs> I'm fully expecting it to be better than last year's, but to me that's not a high bar. I did not like last year's, and uh, my standard is always set by the previous year, so I think I'm gonna like this, I think. But he's also not a big standalone artist, and I know they like to secretly slip in other artists. So are we gonna have a, a ludicrous pop-up? Maybe a David Guetta? Or a Pitbull? Justin Bieber? That'd be ideal. Either way, he's got fun songs. He's got like pretty you know, relatively family-friendly songs. I feel like he's a decent choice. This will be fun. Apparently I'm so early that the official NFL video hasn't posted, so we have to watch this in 720, which d deeply bothers me, but we'll get through it. Oh, hang on. Should we guess what song it is again? I think he's gonna start with Yeah. If I were Usher, I'd be starting with Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot, he's a really good dancer. The fact that he can dance is gonna make a huge difference to me. That's what gave Shakira and J-Lo the edge that one year. I believe that was a year that the Chiefs also won. I think that was 2020. Again, <laughs> I don't care about football, but you know, when the Chiefs are winning, I'll pretend to care. He's got the swagger. He's what, 45 years old? He's still got it. But if you do call, Know that God answers prayers. I really, really appreciate that they've been doing live vocals the past several years. At least I, I think for the most part they are. You know, a lot of the time with big productions like this, there's a backing track to kind of level in with it so that there's one more beefiness and two so they can switch to a different vocal if they need to. All of the production things you can expect from a really high budget performance like this. But it feels like there's more authentic live vocals now than there used to be like 20 years ago, maybe. I could be completely talking out of my ass here, but uh, the Michael Jackson ones like for sure has some lip syncing. And that's obviously not Michael's choice, but this seems very live to me. And I like that a lot. This is so fun. I'm loving this so far. I don't know if you've ever experienced this where you go to a concert, you, you pay money to see an artist you really love or band and the opener you've never heard of, but when you get there, the opener fucking blows you away. Even though they're playing an entire catalog of songs that you've never heard before, I really enjoy that when just the, the musical performance you're seeing is so good that it doesn't need memorabilia attached to it. Alicia? Interesting. Did they ever do a song together? Some people <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Some people <laughs> yep, that's that's live. <laughs> that's funny. Damn, I can't even knock her for that. Alicia's vocals have been kind of rough for a minute. In live performances I've seen of Alicia, it's been a little questionable. She has a pretty high cap on her potential, but she just has some unfortunate performance issues sometimes, I don't know. That's just funny, I can't even hate on that. <laughs> <Some people. laughs> oh yeah, she's got her, her baby hair things. I don't know why I'm even commenting on that, but she just always has, I don't know what the, the official term for that sort of hairstyling is. But the little, the little baby hair is turned into solidified curls on her forehead and sideburns. <laughs> oh, this is... Yeah, this, this is what I this is what I want to see. I was kind of thinking it's a bummer that the stage production isn't as grand as when they had Pepsi. I don't know if anyone else has noticed that. It just feels like the past two years have had a lower budget or something with Apple. I made a big deal of that uh, last year that it was Apple instead of Pepsi. This one wasn't sponsored by Pepsi. What is happening? What is <laughs> what is going on? I wanted to see the. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And the the planet Pepsi. I've kind of come to grips with it this year. I'm a bit of an Apple bitch. 
But uh, for specifically Usher right now, I, 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 I'm really digging this. It's just like showing off his talent. And the fact that they're having a, a duet moment is really nice. It's really nice. It just feels like this feels very authentic. Ah, yes. I know this song from when TikTok just fucking exploded it like two or three years ago, whenever that was. He's so fucking smooth. He's not doing anything super flashy, but there's just such an art to mastering the basics in the way that he has. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't expecting this song for some reason. Oh, I like that little move. Oh, that takes that takes confidence and swagger to pull that off. That could go wrong so quickly. Ah, I love that. Yay! Man nipples. Oh, that's so good. Shit. Okay, I gave him a little bit too much credit. Uh, it seems like the mic is set up on it's some kind of rig that keeps it in place and it can rotate. It's still cool, regardless. Excuse you. My cat wanted to see Usher's smooth moves too. Is this someone important? Is this her or something? I don't know anything about her, but I know she she plays instruments, right? Who who is this? Should I know who this is? Oh, I, I don't think she was playing that though. Ooh, ooh, I don't, I don't think she's playing. I don't think she's playing. First of all, it's uh, still very clearly playing uh, B and E string notes, and her hand goes 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 way up, way up here, where it would sound a lot lower and fatter. For a second. Okay, I guess the, it does play that now. I don't know. It's it's mainly right here. It sounds like there's a pick that happens after she lets go with her right hand. Yeah, there definitely is. Oh. Why? 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 Why pretend guitar? I feel like that's so much less risky than vocals to have live. Very simple solo. I could do that solo. Also, like, the fact that... There's no string noise whenever she kind of lets go and moves the guitar. She didn't turn down the volume knob. That's a big thing with, with like professional, professional guitarists is you, you're very quick with the volume knob. It's just whoop, whoop, turn it off whenever you need it to be off. And you're not hearing any string noise whenever she grabs it with her other hand and kind of moves it around. But maybe there's just a mixing engineer that like it flips off the guitar level. I don't know. It has a pretty clean guitar sound, so you wouldn't hear a whole lot of string noise. I don't know. This is really throwing me off. Something I'm noticing while editing that kind of convinces me that it could be live is that she goes into playing chords right after the solo, and the first time she does it, it is distorted, like the setting she would have for the solo. And you do hear a little bit of string noise before that. But then again, it throws me off right after because she's switched to a clean channel and is consistently doing little rakes, but you can't hear the rakes. You can only hear the main chord. The solo also just sounds a little bit too perfect, especially the last bend for the position she's putting the guitar in. It's very precise, and she's giving a little bit too much showmanship with it. It would just seem to me for that level of precision that you'd have to look a little bit more focused. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, it's definitely not live. I have found the smoking gun. Look at her hand right after the solo. It almost sounds like a power slide, which you would need to do with the pick going all the way up the neck instead of your hand. But even without that, the speed is way off. The sound of it goes much slower than her hand does up the neck. Either way, she seems like a great guitarist and she gives a lovely performance. All right, let's move on from this guitar solo. Roller skating. Is that cool or not? I have no clue. I think it's, okay, it's, it's kind of cool. Especially for his type of dancing, he kind of does that slippery footwork that makes it almost look like you're already on skates, so why not? I didn't expect this song either, but I'm really happy about it. Lil John, Okay. Now it's time for yeah. Yeah. 
this outfit is sick. It's just catching light from every single square inch of it. Yes! Fucking Luda! Yes! I don't know if everyone gets the same ads on Hulu or not, but I've been seeing Ludacris every single day on a State Farm ad. All right, who called for Ludacris? So he's been very heavy on my mind. I wanted to see Ludacris. Yes! Again, despite the slightly lackluster production value of the stage and everything, it's got a yeah. nice energy. Yeah. 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 I love you. The National Football League and Apple Music, thank you for watching the Super Bowl hey. 58 halftime show. Honestly, pretty good. Pretty good. That's what I have to say about that. My girlfriend was all like, oh, you're you're probably not gonna like it. It's for the ladies. No, apparently I'm just I'm just one of the girls. That was nice. Okay, Jasmine. It was nice. Again, I kind of miss the production value of the ones like Katy Perry and stuff, where there's like a lot of shit on stage. I mean, the Super Bowl is one of the biggest events of every single year, especially in America. Like, it might be number one. So it's a little bit weird seeing that dip in showmanship. But when it comes down to um, an awkward performance with just a lot of money thrown at it, I would much rather take this. This was solid, very comfortable to watch. Some artists get up there and you're like, oof, the pressure got to them. They're not giving it, they're not feeling it. I felt this. I felt like Usher was feeling this. I felt like Ludacris was feeling this. I felt like Lil Jon was feeling this. I felt like Alicia Keys was feeling this. So I went to try to go get a clip from the NFL's video and it looks like they fixed her vocal, which is hilarious. Some people want it all. all around, just solid. Well done. Well done. I wish I could have been there, honestly. Be sitting right next to Jimmy. You know, we're both YouTubers. He probably knows me. Also, nice job to Post Malone. He looked very cute up there. Very cute man. I know he gets pretty bad stage fright, so he might have been hammered up there, which <laughs> makes it all the funnier to me. All right, peace out.